hi guys um welcome again we are in episode number two for the uv body pain so if you remember last time we got into this point So what I'm gonna do right now, since I have my base and everywhere, uh, face and body, is just to start tracing the, the details of the design, like the overall design. There's not gonna be a lot of details like highlights and shadows right now, because I need to cover, you know, the whole body pretty much. And we will do that in the next episode. So wait for it. You will notice how this is very quick and how it's kind of messy, but it's really just to place, you know, my areas. I'm not working on details right now. I just need to have the overall piece so then I can work on everything else. Can you tell what this is? No, yes, maybe? I'm gonna jump very quick into the next color. I'm gonna use some green. Uh, they're gonna look kind of similar now that they're kind of, you know, cause they are a little bit see-through when you place it at first, but then when you go over with more color, it will jump out much more. And that did not supposed to happen. It's back in place. So again, I'm just like tracing very quick my shapes, what I need right there so I can start working on details. There it is, I can already see it. Can you? If you can't, just try harder. Okay, now I'm gonna jump very quick into blue. Okay, and before to go all the way down, I'm gonna work a little bit on the arms and then legs, and then we're gonna work on the back. Since we're working in a real body, you know, a human, it gets very tricky because the human body, as you probably know, is three-dimensional, so it's not like a piece of paper where you can, you know, just lay a line and then be like, okay, you're just gonna stop in the same place. You kind of like need to think that there's, you know, the other way around, so to match those lines perfectly. I'll go back there later and match those lines with the back of her arms. Okay, now I'm gonna paint some kind of like feathery things here. So it depends how you use your brushes, you can get certain shapes very quick and very easy. Alright, so now I'm going to work down here and then we're going to go to the back. All right, so now before I jump into the area that is like all the way down here, because it's the stuff that is going kind of around her leg, I'm gonna jump in the back to keep the design, and then I'll work in the hand and the legs while she moves a little bit, because I really need that movement to shape everything how it's supposed to be. Okay. 
with the tracing, there's really not a lot to explain or to say about it. It's just to be as quick as you can, because that way you know you will have more time to work on your details. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the arms and I have to match those lines that I was doing before. And that's hopefully gonna be pretty simple. All right, so there's one. working on the legs. Now we're gonna jump to the legs. So I'm gonna have to be dancing around my model. Okay, there's that. Gonna jump to blue now. Some orange now. Okay, now I'm gonna work in the other leg and we can start working on details after this. Now I'm gonna paint on some details on this area over here. Need some green, some blues. Thank you for joining us. This is part two. If you want to see part one, and if you want to continue to part three, or if you want to subscribe, or you can just do everything. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Just to remind you, I'm Anaí Gutierrez. I'll see you in the next episode. You know what I mean. Okay, so now let's get in the next one because time is running.